Hi, my name is Greg Molina, and I'm very glad this video has found its way to you. I'm here today to tell you about a product of my own design that has genuinely revolutionized our church's sanctuary experience through ease of production workflow and beauty of our keys aesthetic. And disclaimer, while I am clearly, as I've said, and you can see in the church and worship space, this product was actually designed for anybody who takes their music production and music workflow seriously. Well, with that said, and without further ado, let me introduce you to the Custom Enclosures Model 2 Keyboard Stand. Now at first glance, anyone in the music industry or worship ministry space probably thinks they know what this is. Yeah, it's just another keyboard enclosure, right? But no, I promise you, you've never ever seen one quite like this. In our industry, there are two basic categories of keyboard or piano enclosures. The first category is completely utilitarian, a nicely designed wooden box with a hole cut through the bottom for cable management on four basic Wurlitzer style legs. And that's about it, it just looks meaningfully better than a keyboard standing on your stage. Second is the full tilt beautiful option. <laughs> That's typically a hollowed out baby grand or upright piano with a relic vintage look that you place your keyboard in so that it looks like you're playing a real piano. Really adds to the aesthetic of a worship space or a performance space that has some good character to it. You know, like an old sanctuary. But ours, my friends, takes the utilitarian option to a level you've never seen before while simultaneously maintaining a wonderful aesthetic. Now, right off the bat, we hope you'll notice the wonderful, industrious, and beautiful design of the Model 2. It has two tiers, that's why we actually call it the Model 2, and the tiers are plenty, plenty spacious. As you can see, a 13-inch MacBook Air can fit completely in the second tier, as well as a desktop portable music stand. I also have the Korg Nano Controller 2, the Scarlett Focusrite 2i2, and the Allen & Heath ME1 Personal In-Ear Monitor Mixer, all fitting on the second tier easily. But, you can very easily fit almost any industry standard auxiliary keyboard or MIDI controller. And if you want a digital laptop, you can actually fit another Nord all on the second tier. Now we've come around to the back of the CE2 because after that first demonstration, no doubt some of you are thinking, Greg, those slits are nice and all, they're really pretty, but how do I run my initial cable runs? And what if I have to change something? What if I actually do want to swap out gear? I can't route cables blindly behind your lovely stand. Well, don't worry because the back of the CE2 is actually a false back that lifts up and as you can see, has an LED light strip showing you the way. This enables you to run cables from your Nord to your audio interface, to your USB hub, uh, to your outputs, any which way you want with extreme convenience. The back of this actually comes completely off for larger IO adjusting projects. Let me show you. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> and yeah, you have complete access to all of your cable management needs now. And you can just snap your back on whenever you're done.
And for those of you who care, it soft closes as well. Now, if you will, allow me to show you the true genius of the CE2's design. It is full audio input and output integration. That's right. There are no through the bottom cable holes in our system. The entirety of the audio, data, and power systems are housed completely internally. Here we have 16 TRS or 8 TS quarter inch jack outputs. This enables you to patch and repatch your system's outputs very, very simply. And what levels it up is that you have the exact same level of access and customizability on the outside of the stand as well. Let me show you. Every one of the custom enclosure Model 2s ships with eight of these TRS right angle male to female adapters. We decided to use these because it has the sleekest, most beautiful low profile on the market. And like I said before, you're able to switch outputs however you want. There's even little label patches. The switching sides, if you'll let me, I actually want to show you a slightly closer look at our cable management system. So I'll lift the back up again, and I want to highlight right off the bat, we have included here a six output power strip. That's right, all of the gear is powered directly by the stand itself internally. We've also included integrated power over ethernet design. Here in this temple modular, we have two network jacks, one for input, one for output. And like I said, they have power over ethernet potential. I'll show you. Our in-ear monitor rig is currently working. It has the channels ready to be mixed down however you desire. And if I simply unplug this Cat5 cable, away goes the power. If I plug it back in, again, completely ex externally housed, it powers back up and you're mixing away. Same thing with the power to the overall system. Here is the IEC input jack that powers the power strip. <laughs> That's a tough sentence. You just saw. If I unplug this, everything loses power. And just in case the network and power jacks weren't awesome enough for you, we've also included a performer facing power interface. That's right. Underneath this little shelf is a USB power and 12 volt power outlet. Now, I think you should be convinced that this is the best product on the market already, bar none. But just in case you still needed a little bit of convincing, I have two more unbelievable features, <laughs> genuinely, to show you. And the first, I just gotta show you, there's nothing to be said. That's right, guys. Our keyboard stands are on powered desk legs. Completely height adjustable, anywhere from a 27 inch standing height up to well over 45 inches <laughs> standing height. I'm 6'4", and this is way higher than I would ever actually play the keys. If you're still not convinced, I'm impressed. You're a hard sell and I respect that. You care about your music ministry or your professional music budget quite a bit. But I have one more feature that has truly been a game changer for me in the church worship and live performing arts space. And that is production workflow. As I've already mentioned, the ability to switch outputs externally on the fly in any combination of routing that I desire has been huge. But at the end of the day, movement, portability, and manageability is what's most important. And I've designed this keyboard with that in mind. Let me show you. I have it set up <laughs> stage left for this demonstration. But what if you want to move it to stage right? Greg, isn't this thing heavy and big and clunky? What are you going to do? Well, I've intentionally been hiding this final feature. I'm simply going to unplug my external jacks. Again, they're all external. I'm going to unplug my outputs and I'm going to unplug the foot switches and move them out of the way 
just so that nobody trips or gets hurt. Then I'm gonna go over to the other side, unplug my direct box, move those cables out of the way, unplug the power, and unplug the network. Again, simply throwing them, tossing them out of the way. And I actually wanna perform stage right, and I'll, I wanna perform with my back to you. And I'm simply, by myself, gonna roll the custom enclosure model two to its performing position, grab my external foot switches, plug them back into their appropriate external jacks, grab power and network, and do the same. And finally, grab my stage inputs, and voila. You are ready to perform in your new secondary location <laughs> with the exact same setup. If you'd like to order one or find out more information, please email 